this show, I will be giving updates on upcoming local events and sharing my opinion on local bands. Alright, I have announcements to make. May 13th, put that date on your calendar right here at the Elm Street Studio will be the biggest birthday bash of the year to celebrate my 41st birthday. I will be hosting an all-ages concert from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It will be a rocket good show. I will be interviewing with the bands before they play their set. We have the most badass and dangerous rock bands and table playing. Dark Roots and Slick Shocks. Rock on. Bring your appetite because there will be a pot luck buffet. So please help by bringing some munchies to the party. Maybe surprise me by bringing something for my birthday. Just remember that. No alcohol is permitted. You can go on turning 41. Let's keep this PG. All right. Doors will be open at 5.30 p.m. The band will be playing at 6 p.m. Also, we will be filming the birthday bash for my TV show. Then you'll be able to find it online. And on the Local Rock Talk YouTube channel. All the cool with badass folks in table are gonna be there. Remember the date, Monday, May 13th at 6 p.m. Street at 6 p.m. Be there or your plane. Okay. Next up, something new is going to be started with bands. I will be hosting small interviews. We'll do some plug-in playing as a band. We will have a sound guy for the bands and lights. Also, each month. It will be a nice add addition to my regular programmed show. Stay tuned and for more updates on that. Now, I have Mr. Banks who been on Three dishes 
episode of Boko Rock Talk. Alright. Monkey Night Fight. I have a uh, uh, singer here. Better Luffy. We have, have a bass player named Dan. We have drummer Dave. We have guitar player John. So, uh, they're good band, so check them out, support them. Give them a like on Facebook. All right, I know they're for a long time, so they're good. Why do I want to do music? Well, um, I, I, I enjoy making music because uh, it helps me get out things that I didn't really have a way of getting out before. Do music, I found a, a way to express myself in a creative way. And, and then, you know, that's originally why I started to do music. And then, and then, you know, doing the first couple shows, I, you know, I, I really got addicted to the live experience of music, and, and then it's just, you know, that initial creative expression. Uh... All right, Liz Bills. I know her for a long time since her first release album. I've known her since then, a long time. And me and her are family. We are growing sisters, so. Liz Bill, you rock, you're bro mafia. Check out her band, Analog Hat, and Liz Bill, and the change. working on writing for our next, who knows what we're going to release, an EP or, we don't know, we're just kind of going with flow, writing songs. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, we'll be coming out with our first vinyl, so our band is called Analog Heart, so we thought it'd be cool to record on analog tape, which is really hard, but we did it, and now we're going to release it on vinyl at some point in the spring. John Sullivan. I met that dude a long time ago. After former chit chat, which is now Moonshine is bar. So, John, keep rocking now, man. Uh, well, uh, the first band I was in uh, was in. Um it was actually out of the um, Methuen Lawrence area, and this was back in uh, circa 1993, uh, called the, uh, the Candy Coated Crackheads. <laughs> and uh, our ideology behind the name of the band was that not anybody, you know, not anybody was exempt from being uh, a quote unquote crackhead or, or, or a weirdo. Or or a lane, it could be a doctor, it could be a, a police officer, it could be anybody. Um, hence, they were candy coated. So, we, uh, we called ourselves that. And uh, we were uh, kind of like a metal slash rock band. Diamond Age is a uh, front female band. I see them play one time. Online. Check them out. Just Google them. You'll find them. So I I was in a band first and I had a name for it. When he joined the band, he he wanted to change the name. Tell tell him why, how you came up. Well it was actually a name I used to play probably about 30 years ago. It was a name that I had with my original band back then. 
and uh, it, it seemed to fit. It seemed to fit um, because we, were, we had other names, and I said, well, how about Diamond Edge? And she liked it because she likes diamonds. Yeah, yeah, and yet we're up. Echo Stender Boy. Um, I've seen him one, one time too, a long time ago. So long. Get that mom. Double horns out. Fuck on. Good question. It's a great question, actually. Yeah. We were just kind of sitting around one day, and we were brainstorming some ideas, and um, you know, echoes in the void sounded like a pretty cool idea, and we kind of went with that. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, originally before I joined the project, Chris kind of slid the name to me, and I was a little shy on it at first, and I was like, eh, I can't come up with anything better to really go with it, so, you know, you win. <laughs> Excel, fast, good luck to you. I've seen that play before. So, check them out. <laughs> Resonate. That's a cool band. So, uh, let's go on to Facebook, check them out, give them a like, follow them on Twitter, Instagram. If the fun right, you're looking for a uh, little singer for that band. So, contact the band if you want to be a singer. When I was just a little kid, I got a bass guitar. And I just started rocking out with my friends because I had nothing better to do. How old were you talking? I was about eight months old. Eight months old? No, I was, I was in oh, seventh great. grade when I got my first bass. Just to be in the band. And then I liked it. I stuck with it for coming up in 20 years. Leave it, leave it. That's right. They're rocking real good. That being is awesome. So uh, check them out. They do a lot of tours and stuff like that. They're playing. So uh, Eric, you guys, hope to see you guys soon. Oh yeah, they are new band members too. Join the Leave the lead in Facebook page and check it out. And support them. The meat's paws. Now that's, I never saw them play yet, but they ain't on the show. So, just uh, give them a like on Facebook. So, back on to them. Well, um, Deborah asked me to jam out one day, and um, 
we were like think about starting a new band and stuff. But um, I was usually a bass player for a long time, and I just recently picked up the guitar, and she actually saw me playing videos of guitar, and she's like, "Oh, it sounds pretty sweet." And then we like met up or met up at her house, and then I started talking, and then we were thinking about doing a band. And he was coming back from North Carolina, right? Yeah, coming back from Charlotte. Charlotte, and. So he was able to play drums and stuff, and then that's why we started. Jill, check them out. I used to play with him a long time ago. So, check them out. It's kind of like when you go to a chocolate factory and you see everything there, different flavors. You get the pink ones, you get the yellow ones kind of pile them all up into a, you know, a good cluster. That's how I, yeah, that's how I, you know. yeah, that's a cluster. Shadow Lakes. I see their play, they're good. So, um, so Gibbish. Sean, the singer, that makes his family members support, give them a like. Alright, well, I was in a high native city band, and uh, Sean was in uh, an original band you know, many years ago, and we played a few shows together. And I got to know Sean pretty well, asked him if he would record with me, because I had a lot of songs that I'd written all the music for. I was hoping to find someone that could really you know, kick ass on the vocals for me, and Sean was a perfect fit. Uh, he agreed to do so, and we recorded some songs together. Really like them, just like the poster. Uh, to my chagrin, Joey Sales said, What are you doing? But people like them. And uh, so we just started liking the song, we decided to actually put a band together. It is live. What's up? Check them out too. They're good fans too. Hey, Jeff, what's up, man? Rock on. My name is Jeff Richards. I do lead vocals and acoustic guitar. My name is Robbie Gagnon. I play electric guitar. I'm Jimmy Green and I play the bass. So what uh, genre of music is Eden's Live? If you can uh, kind of talk about that a little bit. Melodic hard rock. Melodic hard rock. Mm -hmm. So if you could say that you sound like any bands, what would they? Uh, what would be your influences? Eden's Live. <laughs> Eden's Live is your influences? <laughs> oh, influences. So many of them. What do you think? Well, influences doesn't mean that's who we sound like. Mm. I mean, we definitely have a... Jason Lynch of Slick Slickshots. So, um, support his band. And support his tribute band, too. Robot Queen for Methods. Check, check out those bands. And... This band, Slick Shocks, playing here on May 13th. So, come to the studio and check them out live. Rock on, dude. The local rock uh, expert. So, I'm interested to hear the bands uh, that you want to talk about. Some of them I may not be familiar with, but I guarantee you, every band on your list, I'm gonna check them out listen to their music. So let's, let's get started. Prince Six Hiss. So um check them out too on Facebook. Give them a like, look up the intro. I'll see them one time off time ago. Or copper times. But check them out. And rock on. Guys, can you just introduce yourself? Yeah. Maybe absolutely. talk about like, what instruments you play and how you got the name of your band. That'd be great. Yeah. Paul, good Kyle. Thank you guys for having yeah. me, man. No problem. No problem. We are Precifist. Huh? Yeah, T Dog, great. The T Dog sitting next to me here on the couch. Jimmy. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's not. Jimmy, we love Jimmy. There's a loop behind me right here. Oh yeah, I know loop. 
Yeah, buddy. Man. I forgot Bur my name. Burly so K. Come on. <laughs> Burly K. <laughs> Helen Keller. Big up in it, too. Oh, I play a lot. They have rock in. And I do have one song for that band. Yeah, it's called America. That's a good song. What's up, guys? Well, the quiet one over here to the right, believe it or not, he's the vocals. You give him a mic, he doesn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> A mic, uh, well, what I use for equipment is a Fender Strat. It's actually one of my, still one of my first guitars I've ever gotten. It's still in rotation. It's almost dead. It should be dead. I should probably <laughs> know. Beneath the machine? Good, good too. Awesome band. I'll see them play too, so. Zach, Tony, the rest of the members, we get the double horns up too. Rock on! Beneath the Machine started um, when Tony, uh, who was the uh, Tony and I were in college together, and at some point he and our friend Brian were in a band and they weren't really too happy with that. So what they did was they slowly replaced everybody around them except for me. America's trash. I get to play for these for them. So anyways. Check it out. Easy. Gordon got a girl knocked up and had a baby. So we had to keep playing. <laughs> but we can't use that label deal. He's not in it right now, so. Yeah, there's no one out. He's yeah. in jail. No, no, Gordon, not in jail. No, no, he's actually in his, in his own mind. In his... Oh, no, 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 no. He has a beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Gordon. Yeah. What's up, Gordon? Gordon. He's, he's in matrimonial He's our actual manager, too. Hunter. It's a front female band. Another song they didn't play yet, but I will soon. But just go on to Facebook, give them a like. Here. Um, we just got back from a, a really long tour. We were on the road for about four days, going all across the country and Canada. So we can stay in really busy, but there's a lot of stuff coming up. Add Paradise. Get that band too. Make sure you check them out. And um, keep on walking out. Support them. Well, a guy that's not in it anymore. Uh, he and I started the band, and uh, then a guy that uh, was in the band came up with the name, but he's not in the band anymore, and we kind of got stuck with it. Um, oh. I, I don't think we, any of us really mind it, but it's... It's a good name. It, it's, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically what happened was we got a we had we had a basis that came up. Him and I had formed that up after many years of not playing together, right? So after all these years went by, him and I decided to get another band going. So the first guy, uh, Jerry, plays guitar. I play the drums. We need bass. Yeah. So the our first um, our first thing was to get hey, let's get a bassist in. So we got a bassist in. The bassist, um, he was the one that came up with like four or five names or something like that and, and like wrote them on a piece of paper. So we big call. Yeah. Cool miracle. That band on my show too. So please support them on Facebook. Just Google them. All right. Oh, fairly recent. In the last couple of weeks, we've been rehearsing together and playing some music and some stuff and then a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. New, yeah, new songs. Exciting. All right. Boston Dad. It's not 
and everything else, but I did talk to him on the show. So check him out in his YouTube channel and like his page called The Boston Dad. So, Daryl, lock on, man. I gotta tell you, it definitely was thanks to moving to Florida and uh, being there for a couple months. Uh, it was obvious that people had a hard time understanding the accent. Doc Roots? They're good? Yeah, they're awesome playing here, May 13th, too. So, uh, check them out on Facebook, too. My name is uh, Jocko. I'm the new drummer in the band. I've been with the band probably about, I'd say, three, four months. Uh, I've been playing drums since I was 19. It's a number of years. I'd say about a good uh, 45 years anyway. But I always loved rock and roll, you know. Yeah. And uh, All right. Matt Jackson. He's been on my show not too long ago. It was in... couple months ago, like two months ago. So, check on Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson Live. Matt Jackson, love you, brother. Rock on. Guitar. Um, well, when I first started playing guitar, probably, I guess, professionally, whatever that really means, uh, I think I was about uh, 13 years old. My dad, um, I always had guitars around the house when I was growing up. He used to play guitar. He had uh, had a stroke when he was younger and coordination was all off, but they still were around the house. And I was messing around on one that had about four strings for a while, and uh, he was like, Is that something you want to do? Dripping Shane. They were on my show last month. So, uh, they're good people too. So, uh, check them out too on Facebook. See them play live and support them too. This one must have been about two years ago. We uh, got together. Um, I guess you know uh, whether we're neighbors or related or responding to an ad on on uh, the internet. We got together and decided to start making music. It was uh, it's been an awesome trip. Yeah, Tomaj, uh, actually my next door neighbor. We uh, we. We started uh, a band from a band, and you know, we had a little side project, and uh, you know, we, we came together and did this idea of you know, you know putting together a, a band with no bosses, and, and uh, you know really create the rules and, and where we wanted to go with uh, with the band. And it's, uh, it's turned out pretty well. Why up for sound? Never saw them play yet, but I will soon. So um, check them out too. Hey, Justin, what's up, man? For me, playing for Slow Coyote was the first time I met these guys, mm -hmm. which is uh, wow. pretty sweet because I like to span a lot more than Slow Coyote. But <laughs> that aside, it was kind of cool that, you know, the way things work is that, you know, you had your birthday show and I played with the band and I met another band and they ended up in that band. So that's just kind of like, you know. How are thoughts? They do TV shows, but they do, they do that some local bands for their show, for their TV show. Like they had Anna Lockhart, you know, those kind of local bands. When we were first writing the show, that it needed to be something catchy that symboled uh, EMS. So one of the things we call paramedics is a paragon. That's because some paramedics think they're God, and that's where the that term Paragon came from. So we just decided to call the show Paragons. All right, that's all the names and stuff been on my show. Please support the fans and more. If you want to see any 
of the past interviews, I did with the bands I talked about on today's episode. Feel free go to to feel free to go to the 18 meters website and find the show on the local rock talk. That is it. Thanks for watching. First local rock talk news. Rock on! Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host Paul Zagreeli. Until next time.